If you guessed a redwood tree or a blue whale, you would be wrong. The largest organism is a fungus. And under climate change, it's likely to have an advantage compared to its host species. Scientists discovered the largest organism by area when a massive tree die-off occurred in Malheur National Forest in the Blue Mountains of Oregon. Are malaria mushrooms, or honey fungus? Getty trees were infected by Armillaria osnei, or honey fungus. Honey fungus spend their lives extracting nutrients from conifer trees. We can't see most of the honey fungus because most of it is composed of underground filaments that connect the mushrooms we can see above ground. Scientists took over 100 samples and found that they were a genetic match. It was the same fungal colony. This humongous fungus has almost as much biomass as the aspen grove pondo. It's also very old, around 2,400 years old, with estimates ranging from 1,900 to 8,650 years. The honey fungus is able to grow sold because it can rely on both live and dead wood for its nutrients. Perspective paper from January 2019 postulates that Aosnei may adapt to climate change better than the coniferous trees it infects. Aosnei has high environmental plasticity, which means it can acclimate or adapt to a relatively wide range of environmental conditions. This is advantageous if the honey fungus needs to find a new host, since the coniferous trees will be more impacted by climate change. Scientists think some species of conifers will be completely wiped out by climate change, with honey fungus infections exacerbating the problem. Aerial view on a conifer forest. Getty While environmental plasticity is great for honey fungus, it poses a challenge to those managing threatened ecosystems. Honey fungus also threatens the commercial timber industry and economic loss is another result of tree death from honey fungus. The honey fungus are difficult to eradicate for the same reason they have survived so long and under changing conditions. In the future, it is likely the largest organism in the world will continue to be honey fungus, even under climate change. Thankfully, they are tasty with cooked with peppers and spaghetti. Lin Han Cat is a microbial ecologist. She tweets from at Lin Han H. Cat. Learn more about her research on fungi and read her other posts on microbes and the environment. I am a scientist studying how tiny microbes make big impacts at the ecosystem level. I am finishing my Ph. At the University of California, Irvine where I read research the airborne movement of fungi, particularly those that cause disease. When I'm not in the lab, I am a poobly. Copyright 2019 Forbes Media LLC. All rights reserved. Add choices.